Hi, welcome back to my channel. In this video, you're going to learn about how to simplify expressions with rational exponents. Here's another way on how you can simplify expressions with rational exponents. Simply by just applying the laws of exponents. So here, example number one. This is the quantity 9x to the 6th power, y to the 8th power, divided by 3 squared. All of this raised to a power of 1 half, wherein the exponent here is a fraction. Now, in doing this, simply, ang gagawin ng dito, i-distribute mo lang yung exponent sa lahat ng uh, variables here, or number. Ganun din sa denominator. So it's just like this is the quotient or power rule for quotient. So here, what are you going to do is you have 9 raised to 1 half. Then x, we have 6 here. So that 6 will be multiplied to 1 half. So we are multiplying that. Understood in 9, there is 1. May 1 dyan. So ngayon, imumultiply mo lahat ng exponent na sa loob doon sa exponent sa labas. And then for y, raised to 8 times 1 half. So ganun din sa denominator. Mayroon kang 3 squared times 1 half. Yung exponent na 2. And then you can now simplify this. So now, 9 raised to 1 half is simply in radical form, you can change this to radical form. This is the index of the radical form. It means this is square root. Ibig sabihin ito, ang 9 raised to 1 half ay square root of 9. Diba? Mayroon akong video about kung paano natin gawing radical form yung expression na ang exponent ay fraction. So that is square root of 9. And then, yung x naman, 6 times 1, that is 6, divided by 2, that is 3. So first, here, 6 times 1, yung exponent dito. And then, uh, numerator, I mean, then di uh, divided by 2, and that is equal to 3. So yung exponent ngayon ng x i 3, which is outside the radical sign. Okay, lalagay natin siya outside the radical sign. And then, yung sa y naman, ganun din. Yung 8 dito, 8 times 1, and then divided by 2, that is y to the 4th power. And then, the denominator, we have here 2 times 1, that is 2, then divided by 2, that is 1. So, ibig sabihin na exponent ngayon ng 3 ay 1. Now, what is square root of 9? Square root of 9 is 3. So, therefore, that is 3, then x cubed, y to the 4th power, then divided by 3. And then, we have now, or we can cancel this one, 3 divided by 3, that is 1. So, the final answer now is x cubed, y to the 4th power. Okay? Okay? So, ngayon dito, nakita nyo kung paano. Hindi, pwede rin kasi siya, lahat na to, pwede rin, lahat na ito ay gawin nyo siyang radical form. Kasi ito yung index. Ibig sabihin, ito, lahat ay under the radical sign. That's another way. Pero ito ngayon, tiningnan natin, manipulate muna natin yung mga exponents. Okay? So, let's have another one here. So, ngayon, meron tayong a raised to 1 third times b raised to 2 third divided by a raised to 2 third and b raised to 5 over 3. Now, lahat na to ay raised to 3. Ibig sabihin, lahat ng ito ay i-distribute natin. Mumultiply lang natin. So, first sa a, meron tayong a, so 1 third times 3. This one. Sa b naman, 2 third times 3. Sa denominator, ganun din. Meron tayong 2 third times 3 also. And then sa B naman, meron tayong 5 over 3 times 3. And then tingnan natin ngayon. 1 times 3, multiply natin yung numerator dito sa whole number na 3. So this is 1 times 3, 
that is 3, then divided by 3. So, 3 divided by 3, that is 1. So, meron na lang tayong A dito. Understood kasi ang exponent niyan, 1. Dito naman sa B, 2 times 3, that is 6, then divided by 3, that is 2. That's why we have B squared dito. Okay, now, sa denominator naman natin, meron tayo dito, 2 times 3 again, the numerator and the whole number, that is 6. 6 divided by 3, that is 2. So, meron tayong A squared. And then, dito naman, 5 times 3, that is 15. 15 divided by 3, that is 5. So, kaya B raised to the 5th power. Now, pwede pa uli masimplify natin yan. Ibig sabihin nito, yung A natin, ba In quotient rule, pag nagdi-divide tayo ng the same base, sinasubtract natin yung exponent. Exponent of the numerator minus exponent of the denominator. So, 1 minus 2. Ibig sabihin ng A natin ay 1 uh, minus 2. That is raised to negative 1. Okay? So, 1 minus 2 is equal to negative 1. So, the exponent of A is negative 1. Sa B naman ngayon, 2, ang exponent ng B ay 2, sa denominator 5. So, 2 minus 5, that is equal to negative 3. So, ngayon ang B natin raised to negative 3. Now, hindi tayo allowed na magkakaroon ng negative na final answer. So, what are we going to do is simply get the reciprocal of this. Ang gagawin na natin, understood, meron silang denominator na 1. So, if we flip lang natin, itong 1 mapupunta sa numerator. At ngayon, ito mapupunta sa denominator, pero magiging positive siya. So, ngayon, meron na tayo ngayong 1 over A times B cubed. So, pag 1, hindi mo na kailang ilagay pa. Understood na yan. So, yung negative 1 dito, magiging positive na siya pagdating dito. So, our final answer is 1 over a b cube. Okay, next, we have here m raised to negative 3 fourth times n cube, and all of this is raised to another power, which is 4 over 3. Now, ganun din ang gagawin natin. Didistribute natin ito dito sa m muna. So, ang m natin ngayon ay, ang exponent na yon ay negative 3 fourth times yung exponent outside, which is 4 over 3. Ganun din sa n, yung 3 natin na exponent dito, i-multiply din natin siya sa 4 over 3. So, 3 times 4 over 3. Ngayon, multiply natin negative 3 times 4, that is negative 12, divided by 4 times 3. Numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator, that is 12. It means negative 12 divided by 12, that is negative 1. So, yung exponent ng m natin ay negative 1. So, ngayon, tingnan natin sa ating n. 3 times 4, that is 12, divided by 3, that is equal to 4. So, ngayon, ang exponent ng uh, n natin is 4. So, m raised to negative 1, and then n raised to 4. Now, again, dito, hindi tayo allowed na magkaroon ng negative na exponent. So, ang gagawin lang natin ay ilalagay lang siya natin sa denominator. So, ang nasa numerator na lang natin ay n raised to the 4th power, and ibababa natin yung m raised to negative 1, magiging positive siya. Understood? There is 1 there. So, the final answer now is n to the 4th power divided by m. So, now here, meron tayong x raised to 10 divided by y raised to the 4th power, but all of this is raised to another power which is negative 1 half. So, same thing, i-distribute lang natin ito. So, sa numerator natin, 10 times negative 1 is negative 10 divided by 2, that is negative 5. So, x raised to negative 5. Sa denominator naman, 4 times negative 1, that is negative 4 divided by 2, that is y raised to negative 2. Now, since these are uh, negative, so ang numerator natin ay negative, raised to negative 5, 
Ang denominator natin is raised to negative 2. Ang gagawin natin para maging positive, ipiflip lang natin yan. Mapupunta yung denominator sa numerator at ang numerator sa denominator. Pero magiging positive sila. So ito na ngayon na maging final answer. Now dito, napansin nyo dito, meron tayong 5m cubed raised to 1 half then times 2n raised to 1 half also. Pwede nyo gawing radical form na kaagad ito or ito to simplify. But this time, ang ginagawa natin ngayon ay in-apply lang natin yung loss of exponent para i-simplify. Okay, so ang gagawin natin dito, ibig sabihin, ang 5, i-raise natin sa 1 half kasi didistribute natin yung outside exponent. And yung m natin, that is 3 halves. Why? Because 3 times 1, that is 3, then 2 divided by 2. Understood kasi mayroong 1 dito. Okay? Sa 3 natin, my 1, so multiplying the numerator by numerator and denominator by denominator. So that is equal to 3 times 3, 3 times 1, sorry, that is 3, and then 1 times 2, that is 2. So 3 halves. Okay, now, sa 2 naman, ganun din, erase din siya natin sa 1 half, at yung n naman, erase din siya natin sa 1 half. So ganun lang. Now, napansin nyo, Tingnan nyo yung mga uh, denominator ng exponent dito. Pare-parehong 2. Ano ibig sabihin niyan? Na pag ginawa natin siyang radical form, ang index nila lahat ay 2, which means square root. So, naalala nyo how to rewrite uh, rational expression to radical form? If you have the uh, a raised to 1 over n, that is equal to the nth root of a. Wherein, this one, the denominator is the index, and the numerator 1, that's the exponent here, which is 1. Pag mayroon tayong a raised to m over n, ibig sabihin, ang index natin is still n, n root of a, uh, sorry, n root of a raised to m. So, yung, dinam, uh, yung numerator, yun yung magiging exponent dito. At yung denominator, yun yung magiging index. So, since ngayon, ang index nila ay pare-pareho, so, pwede natin ilagay sila lahat sa loob ng radical sign, which is the square root sign. Okay? So, ayan, ito, equivalent to square root of 5. Ito naman, maging square root of m cubed. At ito naman, maging square root of 2. At ito naman, maging square root of n. So now, tingnan nyo, nakasimplest form na ba yan? Ang square root of 5 ay nakasimplest form kasi wala namang number na raised to 2 na ang sagot ay 5. Ganon din sa 2 at yung n. Pero ito, pwede pa natin masimplify yung m cube. Kasi pwede natin siyang i-rewrite as ang m cube, pwede natin siyang gawing m squared times m, which is m cube, And this one is a perfect square. So, ibig sabihin, ito ngayon ay, pwede, ay m or square root of 5 m squared times m times 2 times n. Na kung saan, ito lang ang pwede natin masimplify. Square root siya, understood ang index nito ay zero, square ay 2 then so makakancel na natin. So, once na ma-extract natin yung square root niya, nasa outside of radical sign na siya. Kaya yung m natin, nasa labas na. Square root of m squared is m. At nasa loob ngayon yung 10. Why 10? 5 times 2, that is 10. At yung natitirang m and n. So, that is times m times n. So, the final answer now is m times the square root of 10 mn. Okay, so that's how you're going to simplify expressions with rational exponents. And I also have another uh, video about simplifying ex, uh, rational expressions, or I mean, simplifying expression with rational exponent. This is, the other one is uh, using the laws of radicals. Okay? So, pwede nyo panoorin yun. 
Kasi dito, automatic dito kasi sa aking example ngayon, in-apply lang natin yung loss of exponent, how to simplify. Sa aking isang video naman, ay ginawa ko siyang radical form to simplify. That's all for this video and thank you for watching. See you on the next one. Bye!